My name is Anil Dillon. I'm a third year MPB major here at Davis. How did you decide on your major? Um, well, I really enjoy, uh, just from experiences in high school, I think human physiology is really interesting and um, neurobiology particularly uh, excites me. I work in a, a lab at the Center for Neuroscience, so um, it was just kind of the perfect combination of things to choose a major in. Difficult classes, obviously OCHEM was hard, but, um, and at the time I think it's very easy to think that it's not necessarily applicable, but I think um, all the classes that I've taken in my major so far, I can see how that would help me, even physics, um, but I just like physics, so I'm biased in that sense. Um, I would have liked certain classes to be more difficult, I don't think, um, Again, physics really prepared me um, to keep those concepts for a long time. Um, I think the bio classes have been great. Um, it's really nice now to see how they've built upon each other and how I like retain that information, how it's helping me in my other classes, and that's awesome. And just helping with my with my general understanding of physiology when you see how it, you know, you've evolved to what humans are. Um, so I don't think any class in my major has really been irrelevant. Um, I think more difficulty would have made my life harder, but been better for me in the long Do you feel like the first two years of your major gave you a good sense of what your major's really about? No, but I, that's a tough one to critique, because I think any science, any, well at least just, just go bio-sci, every single bio-sci major has to take the same classes in the first two years, and like, on the one hand, maybe it'd be good if you had, like, for your major, career-based, like, like, core classes or something like that, um, that would allow you to really see what your major's about. Um, but again, that's tough with, like, unit restrictions. Um, so, no, I don't, I don't think my first two years really gave me an indication of what NPB is really like. I think it's the third year. I don't think I'm ever really going to know what is about, because I don't think I have to take a single, single behavior class. And that's one of the three. It's the B in MPB. Um, but I, I'm taking MPB 101, which is just phys systems physiology right now. And uh, that, I think, it's finally like, okay, this is what I'm studying. I'm enjoying it. I'm glad I'm enjoying it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And then internships, I don't think really correlate with your major. I mean, they can if you want them to, but they don't have to. Um, so I haven't really gotten that sense of, like, what my major is from my internships. Have you done internships? I have. Um, How do you get the opportunity to do those? Um, emailing professors. <laughs> um, emailing professors, getting on listservs, going through all those emails. Um, it's, it's tedious, but you know, you just go to Info Nights, talk to a lot of professors, read, read their websites about you know what you think their research is interesting. That is grammatically correct. Um, so yeah, you just kind of slog through a lot and find what you're interested in. Um, and like, I mean, internships that I've done that I'm still doing, I'm working in the Center for Neuroscience um, in a memory lab, which isn't really related to NPB. I mean, it's it's neuroscience, but that's not really neurobiology. Um, and then I'm working with Global Medical Brigades um, to, to, to do like third world medicine and stuff. And that, again, technically isn't really part of my major. It's more of like life applicable. But, um, but yeah, so I'm doing internships, but I don't think they're really related to my major. If you're trying to get an internship like that, or if you're trying to go and get some experience, how do you email those professors? What do you say? What questions do you ask? Where do you go? First, you, you have to make sure that you've done your homework, um, because they can tell. They get these emails a lot. Um, they, uh, not to scare anyone, but I mean, make sure you know, like, you've read at least a review that they've done, or just like the abstract of a couple papers. Um, make sure you're interested, make sure um, you have the time to give to them, and then just be professional. Like, I mean, if you're at this university, you know how to be professional. So just be respectful, avoid too many colloquialisms. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I mean, yeah, just, just they're humans. Um, so just be yourself and be, and be respectful they'll see that. Do it. It's awesome. I love it. Um, don't. 
um, take the easy route out academically. So if there's ever like a choice between a hard class and an easy class, take the hard class. You can always drop down to the easy class. It's too hard. Also, don't take the easy way out when you're in the course. So as tempting as it may be to just do what you need to do to get the grade, you will regret it the moment you have the grade because you know you could have learned more and kind of retained more and could have been a better person for it, but you weren't because you wanted to sleep. Just, just work hard, get as much as you can from these classes because if you put a lot into them, you can take so much. Uh, underclassmen, make friends with upperclassmen. They are like your most, and grad students in your lab are just your most valuable assets. Uh, because yeah, I think that's where you get the most honest and accurate information about what you're going to be doing later on in life and that helps you make the best decisions. One thing that my friends at liberal arts colleges tend to have is like career-based colloquiums and I think that has been great for my friends at those colleges just because they get people in the field coming in talking to them. I know it's hard to do and it's easy because they have a small school but um, then they kind of get a sense like is this is this what I want to do after college and is this helping me get there which I know is daunting for anyone coming in but it helps to have that kind of information and I think it's not necessarily readily available on this campus like um, yeah I so I would say I would say career-based like colloquiums within the major that like maybe it's a seminar just like freshman seminars um, I know I didn't really take any freshman seminars um, maybe there are these things and I don't know about it uh, but I would say integrating it to be a more central part of the major would be ideal. Changes every day. I want to go to med school for sure um, Right now I'm thinking trauma surgery would be incredible um, but I don't know if I can handle that kind of like I, th I can handle the stress it's more the like someone dying on my table I don't know if I'm really down with that. Um, so right now it's trauma surgery but we'll see. We'll see. I feel like I'm on my way there. I feel like I'm in the process. I think my app could be better, but that's probably just because I haven't worked hard enough. Uh, not to say I haven't worked hard, but I could have worked harder. Uh, I think, but yeah, I definitely think that um, my sense of preparation for med school comes from, from not the campus, but from like clubs and just people I know who have already gone through it and the information that I've gotten from them. Um, so I, I would say, yeah, I wouldn't really attribute my, like, med school readiness or application readiness to my major or to, to like, the campus organization. I love my major, and I, I'm very lucky that Davis, part of why I came to Davis, quite honestly, was NPV, because um, Berkeley doesn't have NPV. I would encourage any freshman who's interested, um, don't be scared. They, they make a big deal out of it at, at orientation there. It's the hardest major on campus, and sure it's hard, but every major's hard. So do it. If you're interested in it, do it. You'll love it. Awesome. Thank you. No problem.